Hey, this is Eric from Techno RV, and uh, I want to show you the differences here between what you see going down the road on the Tire Minder A1A uh, and the TST tire pressure monitoring system. So, on the left hand side, uh, right here, I've got the Tire Minder A1A. In the middle, I've got the Color Monitor TST 507. And then on the far right, I've got the uh, black and white monitor. TST model. So the two on the right are TSTs, the one on the left is the tire minder. And the main point of interest here is that the tire minder actually goes into kind of a, I guess, a sleep mode uh, to where you really don't see anything on the screen, any point of data or anything like that. And the TST, as you can see, uh, is, is very bright. You can see them and they are auto scrolling, giving me both my temperature and my PSI of my tire. So at a quick glance going down the road, I can see uh, what is going on with my tires. Now, of course, if I go into alarm, uh, they will all alarm me and uh, let me know I've got an issue. And uh, let me show you here on the tire minder uh, that if I want to see data on the tire minder, I need to reach up here and hit a button. Now, mind you, while I'm driving down the road, I need to hit it. Now, it does brighten up. Uh, and I see that I'm, it, it's 53 degrees. Now, if I want to see the pressure in that tire, I need to hit it again uh, to show that it's 28 PSI in my Jeep on uh, my back right. And then if I hit it again, it shows me that it's 53 degrees on that back right. But if I just let that sit for, I don't know, eight, 10 seconds or so, it just goes dark again. And that's what I see going down the road. Uh, now, as a, as an RVer, uh, I like to see the data while I'm going down the road, and that's what the TST does. Not only does it give you a great screen to look at, but it also gives you both points of data on the same screen, uh, while the tire minder just gives you one or the other, and then you have to scroll through to see more data. Uh, another thing you may notice, I hope it shows up on this video, is that the, the antenna on the tire minder is nine inches and that's in the the manual says that must be out for it to work so there it is uh, it's uh and then it's the, the of course the tst just has these little stubby uh built-in antennas so uh, that gives you an idea of what you see going down the road uh the difference between the tire minder a1a that goes into sleep mode and gives you nothing uh, versus the TST that auto scrolls and gives you both points of data for your tires and continues to scroll through your tire so at a quick glance you can see all the information that you want to see from these systems. So I want to show you what it sounds like and looks like whenever uh, these systems go into alarm. So I'm going to start with the TST and just uh, for the sake of demonstration I'm just going to go ahead and turn off this black and white system here so both of them aren't an alarm. And uh, we'll just focus on this one here. So I'm going to have Tammy go ahead and unscrew a sensor from the tire. This is going to mimic a rapid pressure release. Uh, so she's outside doing that now. And this one is going to go in alarm. This is what it sounds like, and this is what you see. It shows you the tire that's in alarm. The point of data that's in alarm, which is pressure, is blinking. It shows you your low pressure, and it's a fast leak. Now to silence that, I just hit any button on the front. But it stays in alarm with the uh, red LED blinking until I resolve whatever that issue is. So Tammy's going to put the sensor back on the tire and uh, it'll clear that. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and uh, here is the tire minder here. And I'm going to go ahead and have Tammy to unscrew a sensor from uh, a tire for the tire minder. And we, let's see what the tire minder looks like here when it goes into alarm. So she's unscrewing the sensor, and okay, so it goes into alarm. So you see you get the uh, flashing red light. You get uh, down bottom, it shows uh, leaking and pressure. Now it, it automatically stops blinking or audible alarming without me uh, pushing anything here, but I've still got uh, the blinking, leaking, and pressure being the issue down here. So I'm going to go ahead and and just press this and uh, see that it says zero PSI there on that.
tire position there. So that's what you've got. And the LED light will stay blinking until you've resolved whatever the issue is for uh, that position. So that's what it looks like when you go into alarm on both units. And then, of course, the tire minder will, will just, uh, after a few seconds, it'll go back into sleep mode just like that. That's what you'll see going down the road on the TST. This is what you'll see. So I hope that was helpful for you uh, to see visually those units uh, in action there. And for me as a full-time RVer, I got to tell you that the, the visibility of the TST and the information that it shows you in real time while you're going down the road versus the tire minder that goes in that sleep mode and really doesn't give you any information uh, as you're driving, uh, that's one of the main reasons that not only do I choose TST as a full-time RVer, but as the owner of Techno RV, I choose to sell the TST brand. So if you use TST and uh, you want to write in the comments why you love it, have at it. If you're a tire minder user uh, and you want to give some specific uh, reasons as to why you love the, the tire minder and its features, then feel free to write that as well. You can also check out on our YouTube channel. We've got a lot of videos of, of tips and tricks and how to use and, and all, all the information you could ever want about the TST system is on the Techno RV YouTube channel. Go there, subscribe to it, and I hope all of you get a tire pressure monitoring system for your RVs and safe travels.